tragedy that we have forgotten the words of our rabbis. He who has mercy on the cruel, who someday be cruel unto the merciful, running around having mercy on them, what they would do to us, they would bring upon us a holocaust of hatchets and knives. Last March, Ilan Arab, a soldier, was sent to prison for two years by a military court for killing two Arabs. He was attacked by the Arabs. A mob of Arabs stoned him, so he shot two Arabs. Now, in any normal state, he would have gotten two medals. Here he got two years in jail. You know why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you what the insane orders are that hobble them. These poor soldiers. I know I served in the army for many, many years. I know, I know what the crazy orders are. Not that I ever followed them, but <laughs> let me tell you what, what they are. The orders are that, that if you are attacked by a stone throwing mob, you must first shout at them in Arabic, stand back. If they don't, you can bet your mortgage homes that they won't. <laughs> and as they get closer, you, you may then shoot in the air. If that doesn't help, and you can bet your second mortgage home that it, it won't help, you may then shoot at one demonstrator in one leg. And if that doesn't help, and you're still alive, you may, you may shoot freely. You think that is a normal country? So what do so soldiers do? They neither obey nor disobey. What they do is they back away. Think what that does to a 14-year-old Arab as he sees the soldiers backing away. 